I don't know about you, but I think this looks just a just a little bit better here. I have room in the middle now. We can set the saw horses up, build that last damn door, and not have to trip over the sawmill. Of course, I am going to have to clean up working our way out the doors, but you know, you guys have watched long enough, a lot of you. You know, you know that's just the way it is. So what happened with this big pile of stuff here, everything got backed up from the, from the front door in. I've got a whole pile of stuff that has to move. Well, this is what I mentioned a couple of videos ago. You know, you spend all summer wrecking the place because you're not, well, I was in here a lot, but not uh, with the farm and everything, not in here as much as you want to be. So everything just kind of gets tossed. So you get to the fall, you spend all fall cleaning up in between building and trying to organize and it never happens. And then you spend all winter making it a mess again, clean up in the spring. You know, you go with the cycles, all that good stuff. Oh, I love black coffee at 11 o'clock at night. No wonder I don't sleep. So anyway, I had a, <clears throat> kind of an interesting interesting reflections last night my mother-in-law stopped in here and she's only been in here twice since the roof went on and uh she was looking around she says boy what a difference a year makes and you know i look around and i i think geez i really haven't gotten anything done on this project but you know that happens when you have these multi-year projects i mean we've been doing this channel for almost three years now and you guys have seen it pretty much, not quite from start, but you, a lot of you have seen it pretty close to start to where it's at now. And you don't realize the magnitude and the scope of work that you have done, how much you've actually gotten accomplished until you kind of look back a little bit. And we talked about this a while ago in a video, but uh, so I got looking and, and I don't go and watch my own videos very much. A lot of times I'll tell you, I'll edit them. I'll load them and I won't even watch them because I'm just not the type who can sit there and watch myself all that much. It's just one of those things. But uh, So I went through and looked at where we were at a year ago and where we're at now. And it's like, holy cow, I guess we have gotten a few things done. So I'm going to take this time and throw a few clips at the end of this in of what we were doing last September, last October. I won't bore you with a whole ton of flashbacks for you regulars who've seen this all a million times, but uh, there's a lot of new people. And thank you to Nathan from Out of the Woods. He shouted myself out and he shouted Tim from the Great Plains Craftsman who also built the timber frame. A lot of you guys have been here a while have heard me mention both of those guys quite a bit. Uh, we're all pretty good friends away from YouTube. They're good people, but um, so there's a lot of new viewers that popped in today because of Nathan's mention. And maybe some of you who are new, maybe some of you would like to see where we were at a year ago compared to where we are now. And uh, it might surprise you. I mean, the mess hasn't really changed a whole heck of a lot, but this building has transformed from a just a skeleton sitting here to what it is today. And if you're new here and you're wondering how all these timbers are so weathered and everything, I mean, this is a brand new structure, right? Four years, four years to build this thing. And then uh, pretty much six months away from the project when I fell off the damn thing, if you're new here. Most of you guys know the story, but... So anyway, I'll leave you with that. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you on the next one.
This is my middle name, I'm Alice. 